I'm Matthew Weldon, and we're chatting watches. When I was in the third grade, my dad gave me this watch. It was a little citizen watch, but I thought I was the coolest. Fast forward to when I got my driver's license. My dad gave me this watch. He told me, since I was driving by myself, there was no reason to be late. This I consider to be my first real watch. When I say this, it is because it is mechanical in design. This watch is called Oceanot Professional. In the watch world, it is considered an upper tier entry watch. And to my knowledge, I don't think that this company is around anymore. But the watch has a super reliable movement. I remember when my dad got this watch, he paid next to nothing for it, and now it is easily worth $700. The next watch that I got was from my grandmother. She gave it to me my senior year. It is an Orient Bambino. What is really cool about this watch is the domed crystal and pie pan dial. It is one of the first modern watches that was really supposed to look like a vintage watch. Another cool thing about this watch is that it has an in-house movement. This basically just means that instead of the company buying the insides of the watch, they made it themselves. So after I graduated high school, I was really into the geeky part of watches, how they were made and the material used to make them. I was on a trip to New York when a popular watch blog was writing about this watch called the Swatch System 51. It was the first watch to be made entirely by machine and be mechanical. One important part of a watch movement is a thing called the spring. So in the watch, there's a very, very thin spring that is always moving. This is what makes the second hand work. Up to this point, all watch springs were made out of metal. And without the watch being serviced, it will only be accurate for four to nine years. What Swatch invented was the silicon spring, which now can last up to 20 or even 30 years. These are still mass produced watches, and I really like one of a kind pieces. So I hit up a few watch stores and stumbled upon the prototype for the System 51, and I knew I had to have it. So at this point, I knew I was in pretty deep into the watch world, and it was time for me to get a high-end luxury watch. I'm a big James Bond fan, and for a long time, he has worn an Omega Seamaster. So after working a summer job and doing odd chores for different people, I had saved up enough money to get it. And after putting it on my wrist for the first time, I knew it was the perfect watch for me. The band is so well made, and the bezel is scalloped enough to be able to adjust when you're diving. And after reading a lot about Omega, they're just such a cool company. They're making watches way before my grandparents were even born. Watches for me are something more than a tool to tell time. They are little time machines that can put you in different places in time. Whether you're wearing a 1945 long jean or a modern all machine made watch, there's just a great feeling to be wearing something mechanical on your wrist that will outlive you.